Hey there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. Whenever we develop a new board, we have to take a number of things into consideration. Does it fulfill a hole or a need in our catalog? Uh, is it an advancement on an existing technology? Uh, does it offer more speed, lower power consumption, higher accuracy? Is it its primary component from a great partnering company? But well, once in a while, we get to release a product that checks a whole bunch of those boxes, and this is one of those times. I mean, high speed, low power consumption, we get to partner with Renaissance. I mean, what's not to love about the new SparkFun Thing Plus RA6 M5? The attention grabber on this Thing Plus board is the RA6 M5 from Renaissance. This is a 200 megahertz ARM Cortex M33 core processor with an available 512K of SRAM and two meg of flash. However, if you're looking to do larger, more memory intensive projects, we've got you covered. We've added 60 megabytes of QSPY flash and an SD card slot on the board, so you won't have to worry about a shortage of memory space or data storage. Now, the RA6M5 has a list of features as long as my arm. Things like error correction code support, secure crypto engine, two watchdog timers, real-time clock with calendar, CRC calculator, 75 I.O. pins, just to name a few. But of course, those aren't available on this board. I mean, come on, a Thing Plus board, a feather footprint with 75 pins broken out? However, the list is long, and if you want a really good look at everything this module can offer, say if you're using this to prototype a project with potential for expansion, then take a look at the features list on our product page or the link to the data sheet itself. As for the rest of this board's features, let's take a look. This Thing Plus offers you Bluetooth connectivity thanks to its DA14531 mod Bluetooth low energy module, which also happens to be from Renaissance. This system on chip supports up to three connections with its 32-bit ARM Cortex M0 Plus, along with 128K of flash, 48K of RAM, 144K of ROM, and 32K of OTP. It has transmit power of minus 19 to plus 2 dBm, receiver sensitivity of minus 93 dBm, and aside from standard BLE usage, also supports codeless AT commands. To go with its two-pin JST connector for LiPo batteries, there's an onboard MC73831 single cell LiPo charger with a charge rate of 213 milliamps plus a MAX17048 single cell LiPo fuel gauge. The RA6M5 module itself draws a maximum of 143 milliamps with a normal current draw of just 32 milliamps and 11 milliamps in sleep mode. Of course, your project will probably draw a little bit more than that with potential current draws from other components on the board, like the Bluetooth module, which draws 2 milliamps receiving, 4 milliamps transmitting, and 1.8 microamps in sleep mode. Uh, things like the LEDs, LiPo chargers, all of that are gonna draw a little bit more current. But the fact that the current draw on this entire board remains so low that you can actually power it from a coin cell battery is incredible. Now, the board itself, with its Thing Plus or Feather form factor, offers 21 multifunctional GPIO pins, giving you the options of up to six 12-bit ADC channels, up to two 12-bit DAC outputs, up to two UART ports, an available SPI bus, and an available I2C bus. There's a USB-C connector, the aforementioned two-pin JST LiPo battery connector, and a four-pin JST quick connector. There are LEDs for power, charge, status, and a WS2812 RGB LED, plus one button for reset and one user-definable button for, well, whatever you want. And if you're really looking to do a deep dive, there are two sets of JTAG SWD PHT pins, one for the RA6M5 module and one for the BLE module. All of this on a board of just about 74 by 23 millimeters with four mounting holes that are 440 screw compatible. Now, a lot of times at this point, I like to come up with some kind of a demo, usually something ridiculous, to show you some of the potential of the board. However, sometimes I can get an engineer to do it for me and in this case, I had Alex working on it, so let's take a look at what he did with it, and I'll talk you through it. To show off its advanced Bluetooth capabilities, Alex is using a quick atmospheric sensor breakout on some of our plants and transmitting that data to a second receiving board. Once that wireless connection is established, the data can be displayed in real time, either locally, in this case on one of our quick OLED displays, or on a computer in a serial monitor. The boards can be powered by batteries or via the USB-C connector. Now, I'm sure you noticed that the boards that Alex was using were not the SparkFun Red that you're used to, but don't worry, those were just from our initial prototyping batch. The boards that you get when you order them will be the glorious SparkFun Red that you all know and love. So, there is a quick peek into just a little of what you can expect when you head over to our website and pick up your very own SparkFun Thing Plus RA6M5. Thanks for spending time with us to check out one of our new product releases, and until next time, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking.